One of the other things that we're really proud of as part of the Heritage Action Zone is the way that the programme has engaged with children and young people. And I'm really proud to be a part of this. We've got out to thousands of children and young people in the area. So we're here this evening at the Kings and Corn Exchange where we're going to be presenting the, uh, the Kick the Dust group with some certificates to thank them for the um, video that they've made on Chapel Street which has been part of the Heritage Action Zone programme. So our task was to commission a film for Historical England as part of the Heritage Action Zone project um, talking about the history of Chapel Street. So we started in about November and it was a case of the research took a lot longer than the actual writing. I had the easy job of literally just putting everything they'd done into like a few sentences. So it was these guys who, who had to take all their time fact checking things. Part of the scripting was we interviewed Barry and Tim who lived at Chapel Street before and then I sent that transcript of the interview to Sam and then he scripted Cathy's uh, dialogue around that. It was a really strange process trying to take all this research and just make it into something that was entertaining. Strange. So we sort of directed it and Ryan operated the boom pole and then edited the project himself. The benefit of working with the College of West Anglia and their media department means that we can use their professional equipment without having to purchase it. So the students that I recruited um, were uh, present in a, the auditorium where I presented two Kick the Dust work experience projects uh, and invited them to join me to make the film. Uh, I got four recruits quickly and then another two joined later on after week one and they came ready to take on this project. We always meet professionals so that we give them information and opportunities to extend their skills base and to grow their confidence and knowledge. Uh, they then went on to make the film, building on the research they'd done, uh, learnt how to um, uh, access the census records and find out about the people in the heritage sector. And really my job becomes facilitator and perhaps catalyst. So the kids have the uh, information, the skills, I am there running around trying to find them a doorway that looks like Chapel Street or find them a professional that can give them just a bit of a boost on information and even find them the residents of Chapel Street who actually did live in there and could give them a first-hand account. So learning more about the history of Chapel Street was really interesting, talking to museum curators. Um, I had to pitch to the graphic design team what we wanted on sort of the graphic side of it, which is really interesting, talking to industry professionals. In the brilliant short film that they created, they focused on the social history of Chapel Street and they included some local characters and how they would have felt living in Chapel Street at the time prior to its demolition of the houses in, in the 1960s. And it will be used by schools and colleges further down the line to help understand about Chapel Street and the history there. Norfolk Museum Service, Kick the Dust Project, the strap line is Young People Refreshing Museums. And this project very much belongs to the students who made it. I think if we look back over the last five years, there have been so many successes and Historic England have been really happy and proud to have worked in partnership with the Borough Council of Kingsland and West Norfolk.